you. Most, not all, men see women as sexual, reproductive, and emotional slaves. Mm-hmm. In his mind, you are a place for him to become unloaded. You are a baby maker. I think it's like a problem that straight women have where they just like man more than they like their own progress. Stop it. Do you know I've how much of a fact the strongest of soldiers fall for man? People have not finished their degree because of man. People have not opened that business and said they're going to open because of a man. Because of a Part two of what men don't want women to know. These next few chapters are explaining how men view women as a whole. And if you didn't already know, this will confirm it for you. Most, not all, men see women as sexual, reproductive, and emotional slaves. Mm -hmm. In his mind, you are a place for him to become unloaded. You are a baby maker and you are a comfortable place for him to lay his head and release his burdens for the day. You are not seen as a person that deserves respect because men only reserve that respect for other men. And they do that simply because other men pose a physical threat to them. They understand that we are not physically stronger than them, so there is no reason in their minds for them to respect us. Men will also help other men uphold this double standard, meaning that they will proudly and quickly lie for each other on the spot. So if you are looking for the truth about what your man is doing from his friends or his brothers or his male colleagues, save your breath because they're not going to tell you unless they want you themselves. In addition to that code of honor that they have with each other, men also have their own internal code of honor which will basically force them to deny whatever accusations are placed upon them. Even if you have a strong conviction about something, even if you have noticed a pattern that reasonably concludes that something might be true, if you ask certain men directly, they will lie to you. They will deny the truth and hold that lie until they die. This is not all men. There are men who feel conviction and who will admit to things when they've done them, most of them though will not a lot of women need to understand that closure is not real if you need to close the door to a relationship you need to accept the fact that sometimes you might not get all of the facts of what transpired in that relationship and you need to be okay with that i think it's like a problem that straight women have where they just like man more than they like their own progress stop it do you know I've how much of a fact the strongest of soldiers fall for man people have not finished their degree because of man people have not Open that business and said they're going to open because of a man. Because of a man. That your hair and lash business. What are we saying? Me, I want to do support my friends and do lash. But I, this man is holding up the line. Let's talk about it. Because your boyfriend ruined... Mm -hmm. He didn't send you good morning. It's ruined your day. Mm -hmm. And now because of that, you're not productive. And you don't want to go to work. Or you use the money you're meant to use to open your lash business. You went to go and lend him money. That he used to go and buy another girl. Trouser. Things guys never wanted you to know. Part two. These are all going to hurt your feelings and be a bit shocking. So if you've got a weak stomach, just uh, scroll away. We don't actually find lingerie exciting. It's actually quite a pointless experience because if we're really turned on, we just want to take it off you. We don't really want to prolong the experience by admiring you in it. I know you think you're coming across as an easygoing girl when you say you only have guy friends, but it actually just makes us think that you're seeking a lot of male validation, which isn't good. The more you ask us to call and text you, it actually makes us want to call and text you less. The whole experience ends up becoming anxiety inducing because we only end up spending the time that we do call and text you apologizing for why we haven't called and texted you more, which just makes the whole experience bad. And this one is quite frustrating for most men. So if you could listen up, that would be amazing. It is quite frustrating for us to hear you vent about your problems. Come up with solutions to those problems for you and watch you not follow those solutions. Because when you continue having the same problems and venting about those same problems, it starts to feel like you just want to have problems. Oh, you want to know an absolutely disgusting secret about men that they definitely do not want you to know? And this is an absolutely foolproof method as usual, so please pay attention and don't tell anybody that I told you. When a woman breaks up with a man, odds are it's probably because something has built up for a long, long 
period of time. She wanted to break up with him probably six months before that, but said that she would kind of just keep surviving in the relationship. And then from there, she kind of just decided to tough it out until one day she finally reached her final breaking point and decided to end the relationship. And you know what? She's going to stick with it. Why? Because when women say they're breaking up with somebody, they mean it. The secret about men is when they do it, Nine times out of 10, it is probably an impulsive decision on his part. Either he was not feeling heard after a fight or he feels like you're not going to change. So in the moment, the only way he knows how to fix that is to what? Call for the breakup. But I'm telling you right now with 100% certainty that if you just accept the breakup, better yourself, have your post breakup glow up, he will come crawling back nine times out of 10. Okay, that is a secret. No man wants you to know because they want you to think they mean it. I've been this guy before, by the way. That's how I know see women as sexual reproductive and emotional slaves men only see women as just that do you agree what's your opinion let me know in the comment section below but this is my opinion i do believe this i believe that most men not all most men majority of men would not waste their time to talk to you if they did not find you the least bit attractive if they didn't think that maybe in a year or two, maybe you would eventually give them something like something happened where you just fell in love with their personality or something. Because, you know, when you hang around them enough, long enough, you learn to like other things about them. So, you know what I mean? But if they didn't think that they had the slightest chance that they could have sex with you they would not waste their time to talk to you. I can tell you that for a fact. Because let me tell you, if you ever been part of a group of friends where even one day that you went out with them, you just were feeling your best and you felt like you were like the ugliest friend there, right? You can tell when, how men are, when you are the one that's looking outside, right? So for example, most men, not just little boys, but some, but men too, but majority of the time it's younger men. If they like your friend and they do not like you, they will buy your friend a drink and you're sitting right here and it'll, you, you will think that maybe you were invisible for a minute because that they just don't notice you because they're not attracted to you. <laughs> but if they were attracted to you, they would come and talk to you and maybe ignore your friend who maybe isn't, they're not, it's not their type. But that's just how men operate, most men, okay? Because I know there's always going to be that one person who will be like, well, I'm not like that. I'm not like that, but maybe you were in high school. Maybe you haven't noticed that you're like that, but if you're not attracted to someone, to a woman, you're not going to give them the time of day. It's just how you guys are. I don't know why, but it's just part of being a man, and you guys are like that. And I think the sooner other women notice it and realize it you'll know how men actually are and how to really deal with them because a lot of time it's not even personal it's just that they it doesn't click like it doesn't click that i will buy this girl a drink because i'm not attracted to their girlfriends i can still acknowledge someone is standing there you know what i mean to them it just doesn't click it's just like they're only thinking about one thing and they're hyper focused on this one thing and that's all it is but if a man is not sexually attracted to you you, it, there's literally nothing, nothing like you are literally a nobody. And I, I actually just like the other girl. I think I, I post a video about it. If not, I'll post it another day. But this one lady who was so basically talking about how like even her male gay friends will tell her, you know, I want to have a baby with you or something like that. But I've had men who literally tell me that they cannot wait to have a baby with me. I mean, don't get me wrong. If hell, if I was a man, I want to have a baby with me too. <laughs> I, I, I look good, right? So in my opinion, I look good. <laughs> but anyways, like I would want to have a baby with me too. Have my eyes, you know, my smile. I have a pretty nice smile and all of that. But I've had men who literally will tell me that, oh, they want to put a baby in me. Like, as if, like, I volunteered my womb to just put a baby in, you know? That's usually not the case, but they will tell you that out of nowhere. Like, why would you think it's better for you to put a baby in me than to put a ring on my finger? It's easier to remove yourself from the commitment of marriage, you know, versus, like, removing yourself from the commitment of being a father. So, I don't understand.
Like, why is it the first thing you think about is to put a baby in someone mm -hmm. instead of actually doing it the proper way, like getting married, you know, all that stuff. But it's like a thing to them. Like, it's like almost like achieving something, you know? Like, we know your shit works. <laughs> you know it works. We know it works. So you don't have to constantly want to put a baby in someone just to validate yourself being a man. Like, we know your penis work. So you don't have to, you know, constantly making other people feel bad so you can you know do whatever I, I don't know which we know it work okay and we know that's just that's just how men are like that's how they think unless they're sexually attracted to you they don't see you as nothing else other than someone that they can you know put their seed in and have children with that's just what it is and for people who already have kids or are planning to have kids that's good if that's something that you want but if the man that you're having the children for only see you as that, then it's just, it's just that. It's just that, you know? I don't know. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Like most men, that's just, that's how they see you as. It's just an incubator. <laughs> Somebody to carry kids for or to carry their kids, you know? That is the reason why you, they don't give you that much respect that they give their, bo their bros, their boys. They don't give you that much respect because they don't see you as equal, not even close enough to being equal to them. So even giving birth to their child is not good enough to 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 um, get the re respect that you deserve as the woman of the home or whatever. Just a, being a woman, period, you know. So, yeah, it's just that's that's just what it is. Men only see you as that. That's the only thing they think about. It's the only thing they care about all the time. Majority of men, not all men. Don't come for me, guys.